Well, straight off the top at 8 o'clock this morning, we continue to follow breaking news. Microsoft users worldwide, including banks and airlines, are all reporting uh, some impacts from that global outage this morning. And the outage forcing the AFAA to issue ground stops for several major airlines. It's also having a major impact on metro service in our region. Fox Five's Melanie Onwick has been staying on top of this all morning for viewers. Melanie, what's the latest? Hey, so there's some good news for air travelers. Things are getting better in most circumstances, but not all. But we're still having issues here with Metro. I want to show you the situation, which hasn't really changed since last night. Take a look at the message boards behind me. Trains are running on time, but you might not know it because system status has not been able to update since 8.17 p.m. last night. That is because of a communication issue. Metro saying uh, they've been affected by this known issue. So the website and internal systems are down. IT teams working to address the issue. But again, so the signal boards are not working. If you're on Metro, you might not know when your next train is coming. You can't look it up on your website on the Metro's website either. That is an issue. And one of the other things we've noticed is inside the, the kiosk for the station managers, blue screens. So they're not able to get important information that they need to monitor what is happening in and around the station and other stations. So we know Metro is working on it. And remember, trains are running on time and on schedule currently. But if there were any issue, you wouldn't know it on your website or your mobile apps right now. Now back to the situation with the airlines. Things, as I said, as I said are getting better. Frontier, Spirit, American Airlines, all in go status. Regional carrier PSA has also just canceled its ground stop. Delta now saying they are resuming some of their operations. So the major carrier that is still impacted at this point is United Airlines. They just put out in a post that they They've issued a waiver to make it easier to change travel plans. We know that there, we've seen Southwest flights taking off. We've seen JetBlue flights taking off as well. Global security term, firm CrowdStrike took responsibility. Uh, their CEO saying in a statement that uh, this was a single content update for Windows hosts, that Mac and Linux hosts are not impacted, that this is not a security incident or a cyber attack. And their team, of course, is fully mobilized to ensure the security and stability of CrowdStrike customers. Now, one of the things that we've been doing also, back out live here, is monitoring the situation uh, with different outages. And you can do that online. And you can see here, this is down detector. Now, this is somewhat crowdsourced where people uh, report some of the issues that they're having. But you can see right now some lingering outages with TD Bank. As, as those lines start to go up, Visa starting to go up, payment systems, Bank of America, one of the things we also noticed was um, Starbucks this morning also trending upwards. I haven't yet tried to order on my mobile app yet, so you guys let me know if Starbucks is uh, able to still communicate because that was one of the things people were reporting. And so you're seeing as people are waking up and starting to use different systems, more issues are reported. But we do know that the patch is being worked on. They're rerouting traffic. It will get better. But it certainly is something that concerns folks when they realize just how dependent we are on all of these systems. Yeah, Mel, Makia and Annie Mae not happy with uh, Starbucks uh, and trying to connect with them. Thank you. Great job staying on top of that, Mel.